Today we're gonna be eating in New York City on a $10 versus $50 versus $200 budget. I'm here with my boys John and Kyle. So, uh, I, I think you should add $50 on top. So if you get the 200 right here, I'll give you yeah. 250. $50, better than 10. If I get the 200, will you give me the 250? I will, but you gotta give me a fun fact. Right, I'm gonna pick first. Yo. Oh what? Let's go. <laughs> Bro, how do I always end up with 10? What's your fun fact? New York's got two real football teams, and neither of them play in New York, and they both suck. Okay, that's not very fun, but I'll give it to you. <laughs> it deals a deal, thank you. That means, boys, once again, my coffee! Kid just ran over my coffee, coffee with a scooter. <laughs> and I got 10 bucks to eat the whole day, are you kidding me? Well, right now we're by NYU, which costs like 60 grand a year. I'm gonna go somewhere else. <laughs> you gotta get away from this kid, too. Yeah, I gotta get away from this kid. I'm so excited, because I have $50, but the thing is that I don't even know how to spend this $50. I have a friend who lives here, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna give him a call to see if he's gonna be able to like show me around the city and how to spend the $50 like best way possible in New York. Okay, we're in New York. I think we got the best bagels in the world, so I think that's how we're gonna start it off for breakfast. Hi, y'all. I got the $10 budget today, but honestly, that's not so bad. New York is probably the best city to do this challenge on. You got dollar slices, you know, $2, $3 tacos somewhere. You got the stands. So for breakfast, I'm gonna hit up a shop called the Donut Pub and get a donut. I figure a donut cannot be more than $2. Doesn't get better than that. So we're at a place called David's and my brother's name is actually David. So I thought it'd be fine if I just give him a call and let him pick my order. I'm a little nervous because he could be a, a wild card sometimes. Yo, all right, really random. I'm at a bagel place called David. So I thought I'd let you pick my order. Sesame bagel, because okay. I know that's your favorite. Get some cream cheese and then maybe, maybe lox. I've never had lox before. So this is a, a little wild card. All right, thank you, man, for your help. And uh, I'll let you know how it is. Hello? Hey buddy, I'm in New York. Since you know the ropes around here, I, I feel like you could help me spend this $50 the best way possible to have like New York experience. Oh yeah, man, $50, I, I can make $50 stretch. Okay, cool, I'll man, see you I'll soon, see brother. You. All right, y'all, donuts secured. I wanted to get a cronut, uh, couldn't afford it. It was five bucks, so we got the 275 donut ring. So I have $7.25 left. Might have gone a little over budget for breakfast, but I don't like walking around the cold, so I didn't want to have to, well, now I'm doing that again. It's pretty average as far as donuts go, I'm not gonna lie. What's up, dude? What's Josh? up? Josh? What's up, guys? This is my uh, tour guide for today. Are you uh, thirsty? What, what's coffee. It? Coffee. Coffee? Coffee. Coffee can be done. All right, All right let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah. All right, Josh, tell me about this coffee. This is uh, one of the only locations of this coffee shop in the US. Most of the other uh, locations are in Japan. Um, this is like Kyoto style espresso and like cold brew and things like that. I was shown this place by one of my coffee mentors. Ooh. Like, I, I really like this spot. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, so we got our coffees. I got the Kyoto latte. Yeah. And you got? I got the single origin espresso. Oh, wow. Yeah? I like going in for the second sip. Oh, dude, it's so smooth. That's oh. awesome. That's awesome. Dude, good choice. Our coffees were about $5 each. My budget comes down to 40 for the day. I have my David's bagel here. I think it was like $10, um, and I tipped it up to 11, so we got $239 left in my first bite. That's pretty good. I'm happy. Okay, so I just finished the bagel. Thinking about lunch already. I think I'm gonna text my aunt because she's lived in the city for like 25 years. So I'll, I'll check back in when we know what we're getting for lunch. All right, y'all, it's about lunchtime, so I'm about to go find me some like dollar slices. Hopefully they're only one dollar. Hopefully not two. I haven't heard from the boys yet, so I'm a little worried. You know, they're just they're just eating grand and spectacular. I mean, honestly, I had an okay breakfast, but. Oh. I see the pizza place, it says $2. All right, boys, I might be one slice in it for lunch because uh, I want to have some money for dinner. What's next? If you're, are you hungry? Yeah, lunch could be good. Lunch could be good? Okay, yeah. I have a Korean corn dog place oh. that does some sick cheap eats. Okay, right. all right, okay. Korean cheap eats, corn dogs. And then we're, we're gonna be Oh, over shoot, by. James is calling. All right, what's up, bro? How you doing? Got some coffee. John, you have $50 and all you got was like a $3 coffee? It was $5. If I had your budget, I would be living large right now. I'm just gonna go a little bit crazy on dinner. What do you do? I was hoping to get a dollar slice, but the place that said it was a dollar online is two dollars now. They raised the prices, so I'm probably gonna get one slice of pizza. And then I'm really cold, so I might go back to the hotel. I have a proposition. Yeah. After lunch, you wanna do a challenge? Are you trying to wager some money? Yeah, I'm trying to wager the money that you have left. If you win, I give you some money. 
money. Dude, why do I always end up gambling in these videos? All right, let's do it. Well, I'm gonna check in with Kyle, see what he had for breakfast, so I'll talk to you later. All right, sounds good, brother. Peace. Okay, so my aunt just texted me back and she said I should do a tasting menu and literally like five minutes later, I'm walking on the street and I see no Mikase. Um, and my friend's here too. Um, she's been helping me film, so I think we're, we're gonna get some Mikase. Yo. What's up? Bro, what'd you get with your, your breakfast? I figured we're in New York, I had to get a bagel. So I, I got a bagel. Oh, so you went you went kind of frugal with the breakfast. You're saving it all for later? Yeah, I got something coming. I don't want to make you too jealous, but I've got like a nice meal in my near future. I walked all the way for this place that said it was a dollar slice and it's two dollar slices. And now I'm like, do I only get one pizza for lunch? Ask him for half a slice, man. Ooh, I could do that. <laughs> Were you, so are you getting this pizza or not? Yeah, I'm gonna get this pizza and then I might have to go back to the hotel room because my hands are getting cold. <laughs> You need hand warmers, man? I could buy you some. No, oh, I got gloves, but I don't know, man. I'm not built for this. That's tough, man. Give me a FaceTime when you get lunch. I got to see what you end up getting. You're going to get about 15 courses worth of FaceTimes, dude. 15? <laughs> cool. All right. All right, see you, dude. My man's getting a 15 course meal. And John basically has the $50 budget for two meals because he decided not to eat breakfast. Yeah, I'm gonna get this pizza man and I'm gonna go warm my hands. So Josh, uh, I have a question. How can you differentiate someone who's a local and someone who's just visiting? Ooh, ooh, here's the easiest way. When you're approaching a stoplight, when you're walking, New Yorkers don't pay attention to whether there's a walk sign or not. They pay attention to if there's cars coming or not. But the whole, the whole notion is like, hit me you'll pay my bills. Oh, like, okay. If you hit me, you'll pay my bills. Okay, so I'm just gonna walk like this the whole time. Okay, Josh, Yo. so we got the corn dogs. Got the corn dogs. Reveal. All right. Reveal. Oof. Dang. Oof. Oof. What'd you get, Josh? Okay, so I just got a classic American dog. You got, you got a little crazy. What'd you get? I kind of wanted the classic corn dog, but I feel like it's my first time. Totally. So yeah. I got the crispy rice. It's got some sugar on there too, huh? Yeah. And then I think that's the potato, potato. corn dog. It's got like hot Cheeto crumbs on this hob. I feel like this is like cardinal sin on, on YouTube to like get yourself eating a glizzy. A glizzy. Yeah, yeah. Think, Go for okay. it. I think the coast is too. You can't beat a classic. This is, this is so good. That's very true. Hmm. It's pretty good. I would give it 3.5 out of 5. I'm gonna give mine four and a half because it like it, it's a classic. You can't mess up a classic. Oh, mm. oh, and you got the the mozzarella in yeah. there too. Oh, yeah, way better. Yeah, five out of five. My meal was accumulatively about ten, so I'm down to thirty bucks for the day. So That's still a sizable dinner. Yeah. You know? <laughs> okay, so we just finished at Shiki, which was the omakase spot we ate at. It was, first off, it was amazing. We spent a lot of money. So the meal was 150 bucks, and we tipped them 30 bucks, so it came out to like 180. We have $59 left for dinner. It's like 18 times what James's budget is for the day. So hopefully he's doing well wherever he's at right now. Two dollar slices. Come on, Percy's. What's up? Can I get a cheese slice? Y'all ready for the, the one bite pizza review? Mmm, mmm. All right, I'm really messing with the sauce and the crust from this place. I feel like I just need to eat really slowly because the slower you eat, the more, you know, full you feel. I'm a fast eater, so I shouldn't. But honestly though, for two bucks, that's a huge slice, so I'm with it. Yo, yo. What's up, guys? Bro, what'd you have for lunch? There was a sushi spot, and we got uh, 12 courses. 12 courses? Yo, that's mad crazy. Oh, what are you eating? Hold on. Yeah, what are you eating, John? What is that? It's a corn dog with um, half mozzarella, half the sausage, covered in potatoes and hot Cheetos. That looks delicious. Yeah, that's either amazing or gross. <laughs> yeah, there's no in between there. There's nothing better than glizzies in my mouth. James, I think me and you might have the same budget for dinner after this meal I just had, I'm not gonna lie. No, how much did you spend? Uh, after the tip, it was $180. Oh, so you, you, still have like, you still have like 50 bucks left. Yeah, that's like the same as you, right? No, I have five. <laughs> <laughs> So what time y'all want to meet up at uh, Central Park? Three. All right, boys, I'll see you at three. I will see you there. Peace. I'm so jealous right now, bro. I have, actually, I mean, I actually feel pretty good. I mean, I know I ate a donut and a pizza. I've been eating like garbage, but honestly, I don't even feel that hungry. And um, I, you know what? I've been losing every single wager in these videos. So it's about time I win and I double my money back to 10. And with 10 bucks, I can conquer the world or I could get five slices of pizza.
Same thing. I think I've had a little bit of a better day than they have. So I'm gonna surprise them with a little treat when we get there just cause I, I kind of feel a little guilty that I have more money than they do combined by like a lot. So I'll see y'all at the park. Okay, I see the guys right over here. I'm about to go surprise them. Yo, oh, yo. oh, f oh he's gonna what? Hey, out of me. Oh my donuts. God. So we got some mochi donuts for the boys. Let's hey, go. Let's go. I'll take lemon. all the free food I can get today. I know, I okay. feel like you kind of needed it right now. <laughs> Yo. So this is lemon with strawberry. Ooh. Oh, what is this one? I green think that tea. Was matcha, but I forgot. Oh, is this red velvet? That's red velvet. You know what I just discovered? Red velvet is just literally red chocolate. No way. <laughs> yeah, Pretty that's much. what it is. I feel lied to. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Donut. Cheers. 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 Very good. Yo. I gotta say, this is a big step up from what I had for breakfast. <laughs> I think this was more than your budget. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you couldn't have got the donuts. We're in New York, <laughs> eating mochi donuts. Yeah. You challenged me to a challenge, but you didn't tell me what the challenge is. The one who can last the longest shirtless wins. What do you think, Kyle? I think anyone who's witnessing this wins. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have $5.25 left. So I'm gonna wager three dollars and twenty-five cents. Okay, if you win, I'm gonna double your wager. Well, let's go. That's six dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> All right, buddy, you ready? Yes. This All is right. the spot. We will have our competition. Just to clarify, this is a children's playground here. You're gonna take your clothes off. All right, John, you ready? I actually feel confident. Famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> three, two, one, go. It's actually not bad. It's not bad. God damn it! It might take a long while. <laughs> Should we do something else? <laughs> no, let's see. Let's see, bro. I think you're. Bluffing. You're from Cali. I mean, my nipples are going. Don't. We gotta get you guys in the shade. Oh. This challenge seemed a lot more intimidating when he posed it to me. What if uh, we lay on the rock? Yeah, it's freezing. It's freezing. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> Rock, Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! This might have to be the last video in this series, bro. I literally lose every time. You lose every challenge. <laughs> missed. <laughs> okay, he can take $2. All right, y'all, so I have $4 left. Of course, John and Kyle booked a dinner res for the three of us, but I'm probably just gonna mooch off the bread service. You know what I do, so I'm just hoping we can find a little... Oh, I think I found one. Pizza place. And y'all are gonna be really jealous when I have pizza and you don't. We could just buy pizza, too. You weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> so I found out they're out of cheese slices, and the topping slice is actually $4.31. Hell's Kitchen pizza is firmly out of my budget. <laughs> Well, let me yeah. see if there's anything to negotiate. <laughs> $4 flat for a toffee slice. $4.31? No go. Come on, man. What happened to bartering? <laughs> Bro, you're living in the 1350s. <laughs> this man really said, what happened to bartering? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna check out Amy's bread, see if I can get some bread. Sandwich roll. Dollar forty. Brownie looks good. You think the brownie? I think you gotta go brownie. Bro, I have four dollars left in my budget for the day. We'll give you whatever you need to make the difference. That looks too good. I just need a quarter. That's all I need. Okay, you got it. Hey, my guy. Yes, sir. Thank you. I actually, you, both of you have been very kind to me today. Kyle, you gave me a donut. Oh no, I'm not taking your dinner, man. And John, you gave me some of my money back, so I'll let you have a little piece. Nah, go ahead. All right. It's all you because you gotta save room for a delicious dinner. Yeah, I don't have room for that. There better be bread service. I kind of made a phone call. I said no bread tonight. <laughs> bro, I'm trying to mooch, bro. Come on, <laughs> I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> all right, where, where are we going? Where are we going for dinner? We are going to Costello's, and it's on the rooftop. So we get a view. I think you had to pay two dollars to take the elevator, though. So I don't oh, know if James is gonna be able to right. get out. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the stairs. I'll see y'all there. <laughs> All right, y'all, we got this rooftop experience going on. John, how much money you got left? I have $30. All right, how much money you got left? I got 49 bucks. Okay, Ooh. all right, so together y'all have about 80. I am just praying the complimentary bread service because otherwise your boy is going to be hungry. I'm not going to lie, I see bread on the menu, so that doesn't make me feel good about complimentary bread. <laughs> no. All right, Kyle, what'd you get? We got some potato crisps. What'd you get, John? I think it's a flatbread, but you got salmon on it. Right? No bacon. bacon yeah. And y'all both got drinks. So how much did all this cost? Uh, I think accumulatively about fifty-five. A little questionable use of the budget. I gotta say, this doesn't look like a lot of you food. You sound salty. I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, eat your food, bro. I think we might have enough for another plate. Should we get James some? Nah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. All right, let's try the flatbread. Oh, pretty good. Oh, that's good. 
Did you get bacon on it? Thank wow. God I'm not broke right now. <laughs> so I think we've been eating pretty, pretty good all day. James, I've been eating good. Right. I've been eating the least nutritious food possible, bro. <laughs> you want some? Yeah. Okay. Actually? No. <laughs> okay, so Kyle, give me a full review of our food. I'd say seven out of ten. That sucks. My brownie was an easy eight. No, your brownie was a four on the scale. Oh, but price to portion ratio is a little off, but we're, look where we are, you know? Right here and I was down in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all, thank you for watching the video. If you want to see us doing this in LA with a full experience, activities included, click up here. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.